Hey everyone, we are here today in sunny Cadiz in the south of Spain. We've got one day only in this port town, so we want to explore and see as much as we possibly can. We want you to come along with us. Okay, we're gonna start our day with some amazing coffee and we're gonna do it right here at Bar Bream. So let's go inside. coffee I've ever had. Oh wow. Yes, it is very top notch. Okay, so we're at the Mercado. This is a great place to come. It looks like a centuries old market. Yes. And it has a covered area with a lot of uh, seafood vendors. So you can see some amazing sea creatures in there. That's true. And then it's surrounded by produce and all kinds of other shops. And there's also a bunch of um, meat vendors, cheese vendors, bakeries. You can buy eggs, juices. There's all sorts of stuff around that you can pick up. So it's cool to see the locals grabbing all of their ingredients for the yeah. day. We do see a lot of locals here, which is yes. kind of cool. I love a, a local market yeah. compared to a tourist market. Yeah. And so it's really great to see people are actually in probably restaurant tours, etc., yeah. are in here buying their yeah. fish for the day, buying their meat for the day. Mm -hmm. It's neat to be part of the, like, the hustle and bustle yeah. of, uh, of a local commerce. Agreed. video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Probably the best views in the city I would say are right up here. We got to learn a little bit about the history of Cadiz by going up this tower and um, we are going to check out the Camera Obscura. To put this on your list if you're coming to Cadiz it's a it's a must mm -hmm. do. Just for the views, a beautiful day like today especially. Yeah. So we didn't know a ton about Cadiz um, before coming here, but we've learned a little bit so far. Some people think that this may be the oldest city in all of Europe. That has been continuously inhabited. Populated, that's yeah. right. We do know it was an important uh, trading port mm -hmm. for the Phoenicians. There are also Roman um, ruins here. We also know that Christopher Columbus sailed from here twice, not once but twice, uh, his second and fourth voyages. It also has a history of being the place where he goes, she goes, went to lunch. Yes, exactly. So we ended up at the Cafe Royalty. Beautiful, beautiful place, very lavish. And they serve breakfast, like kind of a Andalusian breakfast or an Americano. Or they also do like continental breakfast. So that would be something simple with just juice, coffee, and uh, croissant. Lunch is done. Yes. The food was, was pretty good. It was very classic, sort of Andalusian breakfast with ham and toast and tomato um, spread. I think the uh, the ambiance was better than the ambiance. Ambiance yeah, was wonderful, the actual and the food. coffee was quite delicious. Hola. Gracias. ¿Cómo se dice? Pipa, semillas de girasol, caca piñada. Okay, one thing I love about this cathedral compared to Granada where we just were is this one has the big square in front yes. of it. So you get the full scale of it, which is kind of amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's possible we're going to get blown out of the tower. So windy. And we are continuing to sculpt our buns. Looking good. Amazing. I feel like 
I always love to see a beautiful view. That was absolutely stunning. That was amazing. Really, really special with the bell towers and the bells and the city and the water, mm -hmm. which is just absolutely amazing. So we saw a pastry shop from up there. Yes. So we're gonna head over there right now. It's right behind us. <laughs> So it's custard and coconut and then pine nuts on top, but it's really, it's not very sweet at all. Can we just talk about how beautiful this town this is? This town is ridiculously beautiful. I love it. Absolutely every corner you turn down is just another new spectacle to take in. I think it's the vibe I love. Mm -hmm. Just feels very friendly and open, uh, just good people. It's not overrun with tourists nope. like us. And um, <laughs> yeah, it just feels like uh, a little bit undiscovered in yes. some ways. Yeah. And I think that's very refreshing. One of the really cool things about Cadiz is this Roman theater that exists, mm -hmm. and we think it's from the maybe the first century BC or AD. Suffice to say, a long time ago. It's old and yes. it's free. You just walk on in. There was no line. There's nobody else checking it out right now but us. It's very pleasant. Yeah, we're the only ones here, um, and I don't have a theatrical performance to give right now. You could improv something. No. Okay, so we'll turn the camera off, and I'll I'll do some improv. <laughs> So the Roman theater includes this cool little museum. It's very small, but it's really well done. So we have been struggling with the name a little bit. I think we started with Cadiz. Cadiz. And then maybe it's Cadiz. And we heard uh, Cadiz from, from the locals. Cadiz. Cadiz. Yes. Cadiz. Cadiz. So uh, there's a thousand ways to say it, and we probably got them all wrong. So we're on another great plaza. This is a town of beautiful plazas. This one is Plaza San Juan de Dios. It's probably the biggest plaza we've found, we've seen. It's, it's gorgeous. A beautiful day like today, you just want to sit and have ice cream. Coffee and chocolate. No, oh, that looks good. It looks great. So right now we're looking for a <laughs> look for a place to sit quickly. So Cadiz is definitely a coastal city. We mentioned earlier that it's a port town with beaches. Um, with beaches, it's got a couple of beautiful beaches. So because of that, it's kind of got a resort town vibe to it, which is cool because it means that there are a lot of other Europeans here. Um, from other parts of the continent, so France, um, some British, a lot of other Spanish people. It's very, very cool. Vibe. Uh, we have a few things that we want to do for the rest of the day today. We've got reservations a little bit later at mm. La Candela. Before we do that, we're going to enjoy a little bit of a traditional paseo. And then um, we might wander down to one of the castles, uh, the Castillo, which yeah. is near the water. All right, let's go. Let's go. So what I'm noticing in this park is that all the kids are playing in the center of the park. Parents are sitting on the square. And all the parents are drinking yes. around the park. So I love this culture. All right, so we were wandering. We ended up at this amazing plaza. And uh, there's some sort of activity behind us in front of the church. Mm -hmm. I sort of suspect it might be um, that everybody's waiting for a bride and groom to come out that have just gotten married. It's, that's total speculation. 
but it is possible. I heard somebody say, like, do you think they'll come around the side? Although now I see cops. So I don't know if there's like something going on, but clearly people are waiting for somebody to exit. It's a big crowd. Yeah. La Candela was a fantastic meal. Um, maybe the best we've had in Spain. Oh my God, I think that, yes, without a doubt. Another beautiful plaza. When will they end? I don't think they're going to end. had so much fun we did so many different things today and I feel like we definitely got to see a lot of the city I don't know about you but I don't think I would change anything other than to maybe stay just a little bit longer yes if we had our way we would stay a few more days mm -hmm. but we also had maybe one of the fullest days of exploration we've had in a while yeah absolutely it's awesome probably because we only had the one day so we're gonna go watch the sunset on the pier and that is it from Cadiz hope you enjoyed hasta luego mm -hmm.